Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. Uh, this is going to be a cancer reading for January 27th and 28th, 2022. And of course, there's a whole bunch of people out there. This is not going to be every single person's story. Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to swap around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. So let me see. Cancer, you versus them, January 27th and 28th, 2022. And I also, I'm still having that giveaway, so just comment on that giveaway video, and I will include you in it. Okay, Cancer, you versus them, January 27th and 28th, 2022, Cancer. Wow. It's going to say two more shuffles, Cancer. Two more shuffles, Cancer, January 27th. And 28, 2022, Cancer. Last shuffle, Cancer. January 27th and 28, 2022, Cancer. I feel like I'm not enough. So there's a lot of insecurities here um, that could be holding this up or causing a lot of restriction in this relationship. Like maybe this person doesn't make like they pay attention to other people so that makes you feel insecure or vice versa you pay attention to other people and it makes them feel insecure intense connection but this is an intense connection between you guys and wow so you're all i want intense connection and i feel like i'm not enough yeah someone pays attention to other people or gets a lot of attention and it makes the other person feel insecure could be both of you guys i am not over you and it's because the, there's a lot of emotions there. Immature, but no one's speaking up. So, true love. This is true love, Cancer. You truly do love this person. Both of you guys do want this for life, but you might have blocked them. And it's because you're not going to sugarcoat things, you know. There's a lot of stuff that was done that you want to talk about. It's like you want them to take accountability. I have a lot to take care of right now. I don't want to put it on you. Right now, both of you guys could have a lot of responsibilities that you guys are taking care of in this moment in time. Let's work together. But they want you guys to work together. Even though you guys are blocked. You, you, some of you guys might have blocked this person. But they want you guys to work together. They also, some of you guys, you know, they feel like you might say no. Meanwhile, I feel like you're just trying to um, get your stuff together. I was a fool. I love you. But they do love you. But again, these, there's these insecurities in the way. And you could have blocked this person because they were paying attention to other people. And now they want to work with you. I'm not over you, immature. Oh, let's take a look. Cancer, January 27th and 28th, 2022. Cancer, you versus them. January 27th and 28th. 2022 cancer one more shuffle cancer january 27th and 28 2022 cancer king of pentacles so someone could have been very shallow you know they cared more about money or material items and now it's like um both of you guys though have a lot of emotional fulfillment with each other Again, this is an intense connection. Like, you guys are happy together. But, again, I feel like someone could have been more materialistic, um, cared more about money, uh, status quo, you know, stuff like that. And that person is having a lot of regrets. Whoever resonates more with that one. On your side here, there's a tower moment. So, things are changing for you. Could be a surprise. That this person is going to come towards you. King of Wands in the Tower. The Sun card. But again, both of you guys make each other happy. 
You guys are happy together. The sun. It's just, um, you guys are spying on each other. You may not be speaking up because of insecurities. See, your person, you know, they're worried. They do want, like, a happily ever after with you. Uh, with the Ten of Pentacles, they want, like, a family, a stable relationship with you. The Justice card, you could be dealing with the Libra. But it's looking like the universe has forced things to balance out. And it's looking like this person is going to be putting in the work in. I feel like both of you guys feel very successful when you guys are together. You feel like um, victory. You know, you feel like. But it's like someone is walking away from spying or someone is um, saw someone walk away from something. I need to check that right now. But this person, you know, they're worried. They're at this distance from you and they're worried. They can't sleep. You know, they're having issues sleeping. You know, all they want to do is focus on the future with you. So cancer. And there's a lot of pentacles on this on their side. So it could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What's the nine of swords? Cancer, January 27th and 28th, 2022, Cancer. This person could be worried about giving you money, about paying you back. What's the six of pentacles? About it being equal give and take. You know, it's like... Um, they want to make sure that it stays balanced between you guys. But with the Five of Swords, some of you guys could have cut this person off, could have blocked them. Two of Cups to go with someone else. Or because they were with someone else. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Cancer. January 27th and 28th. You see, but it's like, they're alone. And all they can pretty much think about is... You know, they may not be alone, but they're feeling lonely. And I'm, it could also be a Virgo. They're thinking about, like, a success with you, happily ever after with you. Like, Seven of Pentacles, Cancer, January 27th. And this person's very much afraid because they want to, they want their future with you. What's the Five of Pentacles, Cancer, January 27th, and 28th. And they feel like... You know, they're going to move forward with you, but they feel like things were not really fair for them at the way how things played out. And that's something that they could, like, that's pretty much all they could focus on is they're afraid that this won't happen. They're afraid you won't move forward with them. Could be another cancer that you're dealing with. What's the Eight of Cups cancer? It's like they regret walking away from you. They could be spying on you. And they regret walking away from you with the page King of Cups because they love you. Or it's like now they're spying on you and they regret a lot of things because you walked away. And it's just um, they have a lot to take care of right now. They don't want to put it on you. It's the Page of Swords. The Moon card. You see they have a lot of emotions for you. Could be a Pisces. What's the Page of Swords? But this person chooses you. They're focused on you. It's like they've turned their back to everybody else. Page of Swords, Cancer. Thank you. They could be spying on you to see if you're with other people. Spying on your friends. What's the judgment? Six of Wands, Cancer. The Sun. January 27th. Thank you. But it's like this person is making a choice. Knight of Pentacles, Cancer. I don't want to say prove it. To prove it to you. They want to talk to you. They want to prove it to you. They want to put the work in. Ten of Wands. So Ten of Wands, King of Wands. Ten of Wands, King of Wands. Thank you. And they know you're not going to make it easy. They know you're not. That's the Justice card. Cancer, January 27th and 28th. 
Like, they know it might be arguments. It's the tower. And they're okay with that. They just want another chance. But you already know, you... I, you already know that this person wants to talk. Like, your intuition already tells you this. Someone could have the letter B or the letter J in their name. The letter T, the letter O, the letter R, the letter A. What's the tower, Cancer? January 27th and 28th, 2022. They're going to end up messaging you, Cancer, and it may be a surprise for you. They may also be coming in to give you some sort of news. That's also going to be a surprise. And whatever it is, they're going to be honest. What's the overall message for Cancer, January 27th and 28th, 2022 Cancer? Page of Cups on top of the Ace of Cups. They want another chance. Nine of Cups. And you were probably wishing that this person would message you. Even though uh, with the Nine of Pentacles, it seems like you've been doing your own thing. So it looks like you're going to get an answer to your wish. But with Nine, Nine... Did I see another Nine? Well, that's Eight, Eight, Eight. So we have Eight, Eight, Eight here. We also have... Mm, and I think that's it. Just 888. So, there's a crossroads here. Cancer, you versus them, January 27th and 28th, 2022. Cancer. One last shuffle. Cancer, you versus them, January 27th and 28th, 2022. Cancer. So, this is true love. Um... There's just a lot of family issues that need to be healed here. Could be due to you, you guys' upbringing. Stay optimistic about your love life. Be positive. Be positive. Okay? Because, again, this person is feeling like you're going to say no. And I'm not seeing you holding a grudge. So I don't see you saying no. I just see you um, not making it easy. Like, you're going to argue. You're going to be a B. I mean, I saw the Queen of Swords, so you're going to be kind of a jerk. But it's, um, I mean, they were probably a jerk to you. So, Cancer, you versus them, January 27th and 28th, 2022, Cancer. Codependency, let go of control issues. They're addicted to you. They could also have addiction issues. You know, they see you as the one. Um, they just, they're just trying to control how it goes instead of just letting you be. Cancer, January 27th and 28th, 2022. This person could also be a control freak. Or it's like they like to be in charge. They like to be the boss. But again, this is true love here. Um, you are drawn to this person. You guys do have a lot of fun together. And this is a past life relationship. That's why this could be kind of like complicated. Um, or you've been feeling like this has been uh, very heavy on you. And it's because of that reason that this is a past life relationship. You guys have known each other before in another lifetime. So um, the only thing is that this person needs to get out of the control and I guess just try to make it up to you from what it looks like. But again, I feel like I'm not enough at the bottom of the deck. Um, both of you guys have a lot of insecurities because of the intense emotions that you guys share for one another. Uh, but all right, guys, I'm going to go and close it out here. If this resonates with you guys, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'm wishing you guys so much love. Please take care of yourselves. And I'll be talking to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.